This is your boy Boston. Welcome back to the channel. Today we at Teskies. This is a local pet store in my area. And we're gonna go through, take a look at some of the fish and see what they got going on. Alright. This is pretty much their whole fish selection over here. They have tons of different animals, dogs, all type of pond and garden materials, and things that you need. But we'll just go through, take a look. Look at this first display tank right here. Well, they got some angels in here. Everything here not for sale, as you see. Some really huge angels. Really nice angels. We'll go through and take a look at their fish selection and see what all they have. They got tons of different tanks in here. This first thing, like we got some feather fin rainbows. Some nice little red eye tetras. These are awesome dither fish for your aquarium. How oh, you know who I am? Ever since you, you, you did your video at uh, the Reptile Show, my husband's been watching your video. That's what's up. Yeah. You work here? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, I'm coming through filming the store. But, all right, we got some dwarf neon rainbows in here. These are really nice, actually. Some nice, fat rainbows. Damn, like we got some fancy guppies. Nice little assortment of fancy guppies. Now these guys up here are pretty nice. These uh, Congo Tetras right here. Some really nice, healthy Congo Tetras. Look to be some males. It look like there's some type of Cynodonis cat in there as well. Let's see what they got down here. Look like some 24 karat mollies. That yellow on them is pretty nice. Look like they trying to breed right there. <laughs> look like there's a nice little quarry in there hiding out. A couple little tetras as well. Those gold dust mollies are pretty awesome. Up here, like we got some honey garamis. Some nice, healthy honey garamis. I like how they got all their aquariums like scaped. You can see they're using old under gravel filters. This store's been around for a very long time. Oh, here we got some white clouds. Some real nice white clouds. Yeah, here like we got some black mollies. Now you're fine. She's excited about the fish. Oh, gosh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we got some nice black mollies up in here. Those are pretty awesome. Look back here, we got some, see one hiding back there, like some bleeding heart tetras. I like there's some more tetras hanging out in the back back there as well. Yeah, we know we got some Pearl Daniels, really nice Pearl Daniels, some Cory Cats, and some Balloon Belly Mollies. <laughs> Real nice. Let's go look over here. Oh, look at these guys over here. Some nice Brunus Airs Tetris. These things can be mean and nasty as well. 
you see that one right there, mean and nasty. And it looks like there's some uh, diamond tethers in here as well, which are pretty awesome. You can see that sparkle on their side. Really awesome tension. Like we got some rosy barbs in here. I actually just picked up some of these. I'm gonna try to breed them. Some nice little rosy bar. Just take up. We got some panda mollies. As you can see, everything in here has an under gravel filter for the most part. Old school. Look like they picking up some fish over here. We'll come back through and check them out. Oh, you're fine. Over here we got some grass boars. Some nice grass boars. Nice little, like some albino cherry bars. Those are different. And I feel like there's some type of other fish in here, like some bars, some quarry cats. Not exactly sure what these smaller ones are. Still nice fish. Oh, these are pretty nice. These are some bloodline tetras. I like that little red tip on them. Some blushing white tetras in there as well. Pretty awesome tetras. I'll we'll go back down here and look and see what they got over here. So I got some white tetras and some grass boars. More Tetris down here. They got a nice assortment of Tetris in the store. Plus, we got some more cherry bar. Look like a bunch of females. You might see one or two males, but look like mainly some females. Cherry bars. Always an awesome fish to have in the fish collection. We got over here some uh, baller sharks, some baby baller sharks, mystery snails, and look like some red mirror Tetris. Kind of look like serpent treasures in a way. These guys up here are pretty awesome. These are some Australian rainbows. I actually have a few of these in the fish room that I bought from here probably about a year ago. And they're still nice and healthy. But I really like these Australian rainbows. Might actually try to breed these guys one day. Really nice. Oh, we got some Bosmani's rainbows up here. See a couple of them colored up real nice in there. Nice little Bosmani's. Uh, we got some long fan tetras, some black and white ones. Or black skirt tetras, I believe they call. But them black ones got like a nice little sparkle on they. I don't know if you can see them. And they sell like a lot of hornwork. This is where I kind of started my hornwork collection was. I got it like a nice little assortment from them. And now I got more than I can ever want. Let's keep walking around, see what's going on else in here. See what else they have. Look like some white clouds. And look like there's some rummy nose tetras in there as well. They have a really nice sex and selection of tetras in here. It's crazy. And up here we like we got some checkerboard barbs. These are pretty different. 
never really seen those. Or if I have, I really paid attention to them. And like there's some black tetras in here too. And there's some black shark. You can kind of see the little black shark right there hanging out. But definitely a dope little tank though. But they got some goldfish down here. Some really big, large goldfish down there. Things are huge. I'm just looking around, boss. Over here, we got some uh, silver tip tetras, some Siamese flying foxes, and some white mollies. These are pretty different. Look like probably like a algae eater or something. Oh, I got some silver dollars up here. Some nice silver dollars. I'm not exactly sure how much they cost, but I'm not. No, they're not a super expensive. I was keep looking. They got quite a few tanks in here. These are some brilliant grass boards. I've had these before. They get nice and big, and they live a pretty long time. Well, they got some nice grass boards up in there. These are some uh, keyhole cichlids. Those are actually pretty nice. Uh, we got some uh, silver hatchets. Very unique looking little fish. Got a tank full of serpe tetras down here. I like they got a little better in there hanging out with them too. Do you want regular ones or fancy ones? And these are some type of molly, like a, just a sort of molly in here, but some of them got some really cool little colors, like that white with the orange in them. Haven't seen those before. It's pretty nice, actually. And they got some glowfish as well. See a couple little cichlids up here, like a flagfish. And there's some type of ram. Look like a ram or something. Nice. That's pretty much all the fish on this side. I will go through and look at more of they, excuse me, both predator fish. Um, so we'll go through and look at all the fish that's over here and then we'll come back and check out like their plants and stuff that's over here. Uh, they got some tiger barbs in here. Some nice little small tiger barbs. Look at these guys in here, some red belly piranhas. Nice red belly piranhas. How much are those guys? $8.99. Can't beat it. Let's see what's down here. Oh, they got a giant garami. I should get him actually. $8.99. Nice little giant garami back there. The one to throw another one of those out in the fish room. Oh, look up here. They got a silver arowana for $20. I mean, you really can't beat that. Let me know in the comment section should I pick this guy up and grow another silver out? Nice little silver arowana. Looks pretty healthy, too. But for 20 bucks, you really can't beat that. I'll take that risk. Look like we got some assorted African cichlids down here. Just a little mix selection. Because Bumblebee right here is pretty nice. Yeah, like there's some smaller yellow labs in here and some super reds. Nice.
Oh, they got some vinyl clown knives. Oh, you can't see them on camera, but I can see them through there. They in there hiding. They got some vinyl clown knives for 16 bucks. That's a really awesome price, actually. This is actually the store where I bought my red tail catfish from. And I say that because it says they have a red tail catfish in here, but I don't see them. Maybe he's already sold. But they look like there's some small Jack Dempsey's in here as well. Really nice. Oh, you can kind of see the albino clown coming out right now. Awesome little fish. Oh, they got some small Aranda's goldfish. And we got some assorted Africans, Oscars. I just got one left in here. Nice little tiger Oscar. Kind of a dark shot on them right now. Nice little Oscar there. Look like we got some more goldfish down here. That black one is huge. I might have to do a goldfish tank one day, just or a goldfish pond or something in the fish room. Oh, they got some nice little bashars up here. A nice little bite, right? little small guy. $8.99, that's a good price. Here, like they got some claw frogs. This thing's get pretty big, too. Look like a nice little sorbet, some grommy, some blue grommies in here. Gotta love Garamis. Some little rainbow sharks. Definitely one of my favorite little community sharks to get. Nice little focal piece. And they get a decent size too. Takes them a while, but they'll grow. But you can see they're nice and mean and nasty too. Definitely gotta keep them in groups. Ooh, look at down here. They got some red paku. Look how bloody red they are. Wow. Been wanting to pick up one of these. I kind of want like a albino paku or something. I think that'd be doper. But they just get so big. Too big, actually. But they look so good when they're that small, like a little piranha. Oh, we got like some mixed South American cichlids. I see some jewels in here. Probably, yeah, I just see a bunch of jewels, which is also a really awesome fish. Some African jewels, really like those a lot. Down here, like we got some giant Daniels. I got a bunch of these at home. They just be swimming too, just like this all day. And a nice red tail sharks. Those are actually really nice sharks as well. Kind of more docile than the other ones. But still a nice fish. Let's see what they got here. They also do salt water too. So they have a few salt water aquariums running on top over here. We'll check those out in a second. I just want to check out the rest of these freshwater aquariums. Feel like there's a nice uh, white severum in there. There's some albino iridescent sharks. Well, no, I don't think those are iridescents. Yeah, they are albino iridescent sharks, which are pretty cool. They just get so big. But a really cool fish. We got some nice bigger baller shark in there and some more gouramis. Oh, man, got some big old dogs. Over here, we got some more African cichlids. Some bigger ones, like some electric blue johannes in there. Some more different mixed 
Africans. Kind of a glare on this tank, but you can see them electric blues and they look beautiful. There's quite a few of those. We got a tank with some angels over here. It's always nice. Let's see if we can get a focus on him. He looks good. Big old dogs. And look like we got a nice little blood pair hanging out back there. Chilling. Now, like I said, they do a lot of salt water here, so we'll look at that last. Um, but they also sell a nice selection of plants. So you can see they got some money wart, some banana plants, some Anubias, Wisteria. I mean, a nice selection of aquarium plants, and they all look pretty healthy for all you plant lovers. Looks like they got some more over here, some water sprites, some peace lilies, some Miro, some Amazon sore, some Java fern. I mean, a really a great selection. You can literally come here and get your whole tank planted up in one spot. Let's see what they have over here. They always got like some hidden gem or something. This is where I, this is the tank where my red tail cat was in. Like they got a big old pleco in here right now. Anybody looking for a large placosomus, there you go. And then they got the brackets tank. So this is like a brackets figure eight puffer, which are pretty cool. Looking kind of, there's a bigger one up there. And another one right here just came out. Really nice puffer fish. You know, like nothing in this aquarium. But they also got like a nice selection of saltwater coral rock right here. I mean, that's really, actually it's a really good rock at about $7 a pound. And it looks really good. Surprised they don't have like any fish in here with them. But we'll take a look at some of the saltwater uh, tanks. They got this tomato clown. I need to get something like that for my saltwater aquarium. Eight pretty beautiful definitely is oh look at this dog face puffer he's pretty cool awesome little fish so we got some more type of clowns in here I'm not very that very familiar with salt water but they definitely have some amazing fish and we will definitely be getting a salt water tank back on here soon but we got some little damsels nice little starter fish for your salt water aquariums or coral tanks We got a nice little clownfish right here. Man, they look like some type of like Dolby. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I feel like a, like a mix of a mud skipper and a Dolby. They're pretty awesome. Got some more saltwater fish right here. These guys look really good. They got like a fluorescent blue and greenish on them. That's pretty cool. Some more puffers. Guys, nice right here. And this is like one of my dream saltwater fish right here is a trigger. They're awesome. Got some more clowns. Oh, look at this trigger right here. An Isa trigger. Wow. 
beautiful fish. But that's kind of a little walkthrough of this fish store. Um, like I said, this store has been around for a very long time. And they have tons of other products here. They got all your products for like all your hard goods, everything that you need. And they also sell aquariums. They have reptiles here, birds that you can hear them and everything else. So if you guys would like me to come back and do like a full tour of this place, let me know. I definitely will come back and give you guys a full tour of this pet store because it's pretty awesome. But that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these videos. I'm out of here. Thank you.